We back. We are back. My first guest was, of course, a cast member on Saturday Night Live. He's also appeared in numerous films, including Dirty Work and Billy Madison. Please welcome our old chum, Norm McDonald. <laughs> So nice to ah. so nice to see you. Oh man, it's great to be here, Conan. Yeah. In, in, in the talk show, my natural element. Yes. I've always said you're you're a terrific guest, and you're like a fish in water, not out of water, a fish in water. Yes, when I you're am. On a talk show. I'm like a fish in water on a talk show. Yeah. And uh, there's a. It turns out there's an opening now for a talk show. Yeah. Let's talk about that because it's been in the news a little bit. You have been lobbying. Uh, the host, Craig Ferguson, announced he's, he's, he's stepping down. Craig Ferguson is stepping down from the Late Late Show. Yes. And so, you know, all my, all my career I've been, uh, uh, sh you know, sort of diffident. That's a cool word, <laughs> diffident. Well, it is a kind of retarded word, huh? No, it's a good word. It's but good word. Uh, anyways, uh, no more diffidence for me. So what you're saying... <laughs> Well, uh, if you don't know what diffident is, no one knows what the hell you're talking about. I know. About. What should, what should I You've say? been a little uh, laid back, let's laid say. Laid back, and that's not what, you know, what fuels this, uh, this town, Hollywood, is naked ambition. Right. right. And what you've you done... You went from being passive to active. Yes, I am yes. a furnace of ambition. Okay. <laughs> Norm. It's, it's warm, actually. Yeah, warm. Yeah, yeah. And what I plan to do, you see... Is you it, want to take that job. You've put I it out I want there. that job, because here's the thing. I kept hearing, hey... There's a conversation going on about these different names and my about who might replace yeah. Craig Ferguson, yeah. And my name was never in it. So <laughs> I believe my dad always taught me, if you're not part of a conversation, the thing is you walk up to that table and you, you put your hand out and you say, Mr. Moonvez, good to meet you, sir. I uh, hear you've been conversing about different people. <laughs> <laughs> You've been conversing about different people, and uh, I don't like them. <laughs> Wait, you would instead of talking up your own skills, you would you would crap on the other people. Oh no, I would no, I would never do that. Okay, no, I would just say, listen, uh, you're still as you're sitting around the table, and uh, you know why uh, do, why does my name lay unmentioned like your uh, uh, potatoes au gratin? Okay. <laughs> You took the restaurant thing way too far. <laughs> Let's get you out of the restaurant. What about uh, one name they're, they're mentioning a lot is a very popular guy, John Hodgman. They're saying John Hodgman might be the possible guy who could replace Craig Ferguson. Oh, yeah. that, what about him? Well, you see, he's too smart. He's, uh, you, nobody wants an egg head or a blue stocking. What they want is... Uh, no one's talked that way in 80 years. What do you mean? No one wants an egg head or a, a blue stocking. They want a ham and egg man. They want a guy who gets his hands dirty. That's right. They want a fella like you and me, a man of the people. <laughs> you know, like a, a dunce, a dolt. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, yes. no, I'm not saying you're a dunce or a dolt. Yes, you did. That's but, exactly what you no, just I'm said. No, I'm saying you, you play one on television. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You think I'm a chump, uh, but that's and that's fair enough. But you're saying that uh, you think that you'd be do a better job than that John Hodgman guy. Oh, I, I think I could do a better job than anyone except for Conan O'Brien himself. What? Okay, thank you. <laughs> You've known me 21, 25 years. I know you hate and you me. And you call me Conan O'Brien. <laughs> Ridge. <laughs> no, as you, now, as you, I said, I know you hate being called Conan. No, 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 I, I, I'm fine with it. But what, aren't they, right now they're looking for diversity in hosts, you know? I'm, that's me. What are you talking about? How are you diverse? Um, I'm a three quarters gypsy. Oh, and you are not. <laughs> I swear to God, my mom, who's in the audience, full blooded gypsy. And my father, uh, uh, <laughs> he's half Scottish and half gypsy. <laughs> Gypsy, Gypsy Jack MacDonald. That's not... That's true. How come you can't even say your own last name correctly? You're not MacDonald. Gypsy. We lived on the, on the edge of town. Sure. And uh, what, we, what we would do is me, uh, my mom, uh -huh. and Gypsy Jack MacDonald, we'd travel from uh, <laughs> town to town, and we'd get, go to old ladies' houses and tell them there was something wrong with their roof. Yeah. 
And was there something wrong with the roof? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we were dirty gypsies. All right, shut up. You can't say that. You can't say that. You're going to get mail No, now. I know, except I don't think that they even exist. What? Well, I think... Uh, uh, what are you talking about? I think that my... I'm a gypsy, for God's sake. I can say it. I can say the G word. All right. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Now, do you think... Let me say this. I know this job looks easy. It does look easy. <laughs> but do you think you have... I mean, this job, it looks hard. Oh. This job looks easy. Okay, well, I know it looks easy. Yes. But do you really think you've got the chops? I'm going to use the phrase chops. Sure. Do you think you've got the chops to be a talk show host? Oh, yes. Because there's a lot of things you have to be able to do. You don't just sit here and guffaw. <laughs> That's 98% oh. of it. Do you have the chops to do it? No, I've been studying it like a Jesuit. All right. <laughs> and, <laughs> you just used the J word. <laughs> and I believe I could do it in one minute. You think, Norm MacDonald, that in one minute you can display all of the talk show skills? One minute. That's all I need. If I can only have one I think we want to see this, don't we? Oh, right. I, I, and then I say this? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. And now, here's Norm McDonald. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You, uh, do you, are you familiar with the, uh, the model Kate Upton? Well, apparently, she told the London Sun that life would be easier if she had small breasts. You know, I suppose that's true if by easier, she means harder. We have a great show! <laughs> You know, I understand that you had a little trouble with your wife last night, didn't her? Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, she's, uh, she's a sassy, sassy yeah, gal, yeah. and, uh, yeah, and she's, uh... Well, let's get to our first All guest. right. <laughs> Please welcome comedy legend Fred Willard. Your show. Oh. You're doing a great job. Oh, I love yeah. you. Wow. We I might... understand, Fred. You brought a clip. I did. Let's see. Let's take show. a look. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that was. I thought you did a, uh, an amazing job back oh, there. Oh, it's easier than it looks. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, listen, guys, do you want me to be the host or not? Here you go. Yeah, this, that'll, this, that'll get the word out. The to people CBS. have spoken. Yeah, now listen, uh, I, I, Thank you. so much to ask.